Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and once upon a time, specifically 2004, Microsoft owned indie gaming. They created a framework called XNA, enabled you to create games for the PC as well as for uh, Xbox devices. A very cool thing that actually led to quite a few very popular games being created using it. Uh, Stardew Valley, for example, Bastion, uh, Flint Hook. Owlboy, uh, Axiom Verge. There was just a ton of games created using this framework. Magicka, One Figure Death Punch is a sequel to Axiom Verge, etc. And, and this was basically the beginning for a number of people in their indie game dev journey. Then Microsoft just killed it out of the blue for no particular reason. They could have the most popular indie game framework out there right now, but uh, instead uh, they kind of threw it all away. Fortunately, other people picked up the slack. So Monogame is one of them. This is basically a continuation of XNA. It is the same thing. It was kind of based off of it, but this enabled you to run on Linux and Mac. And on top of that, they continue to add new features to it. So a number of games were created using Monogame as well, or ports of a lot of the games we were talking about earlier. It's available on a ton of different platforms. This is another open source project, and you're going to see it is still being used to this day. You got games like Celeste, uh, again, a number of the ones we talked about, Barrel Trauma, uh, yeah, uh, so on. So you can see, again, a number of games being uh, used, created using um, the mono game version, which was a continuation of XNA that is still going to this day. So you see games like Streets of Rage 4, for example, games you've definitely heard of, uh, Skulls of the Shogun. Uh, so it has been continued via mono game. And then on top of that, there's also FNA. Now, FNA is kind of a different approach to XNA than Monogame. Monogame kept adding new features, where FNA was more about creating the fastest, most performant, but cross-platform version of XNA. They stayed core to what the original XNA was and used the original tooling of XNA to create games. So this is more about porting XNA games to various different platforms. Uh, and the framework stayed pretty consistent to what XNA was, whereas Monogame has diverged slightly. So why the hell are we talking about any of these things? Well, today's discussion is about something called Monogame Extended. Now, this is a set of utilities, libraries, and tools on top of Monogame that make it easier to make games. So this is a bunch of stuff um, on top of mono game, which again was based off XNA, uh, that you would use to um, you know create your games. Tons of new features here, things like an ECS system, sprite system, and so on. Uh, and so this project has been going on for quite a while. If you're interested in it, by the way, it is open source. Uh, if you want like what they're doing, drop them a star. It gets pretty constant updates here. Uh, so you see, four days ago was the last commit here. There's a number of people working on 126 contributors there. So mono game X uh, mono game extended is definitely a continuation one thing you're going to also want to know about model game extended is it has um uh, compatibility with FNA as well. So either one, Mono Game or FNA, you can use with Mono Game Extended. So if you're interested, what you're probably going to want to do is check out the samples. This will showcase exactly what it is capable of, and the samples are very robust. So I've actually already got them. So here you can see this is a, a one of the examples. Um, this is the sandbox. This is actually showcasing uh, the ECS system that they've added. So you can see, for example, here we've got uh, components such as the simple raindrop. If you do not know, ECS stands for the component system. It's a way of separating your game logic from the data. Um, and then here you're going to see systems that handle things. So for example, here, this handles the rain and spawning of all of your raindrops, like so. So you can go ahead and check these guys out in action. Let's go ahead and run that guy. So here we can see, we'll start a new instance of it up. Uh, but then you're going to get an idea in a sec just how many demos there are here. So very simple. This is a rain system being implemented via ECS. So if you're using Monogame, so as you can barely see from the icon up here, this is still using Monogame behind the scenes. Or if you're using FNA, but you want more more. Uh, basically, uh, more systems, more implementations, higher level abstraction. That is exactly what Mono Game Extended gets you. So that was the sandbox we looked at there. You're going to see there are a number of different tutorials available as well. You can just basically run this as a top level. So let's just go ahead and check that example out right here. And it's going to give you an idea of, again, the kind of functionality that is here. Now, I do think that this one is bugged. Uh, so I'm not going to do that one. But you see here, if you want to have, so it does implementation for bitmap fonts, uh, input list things. Collision management. So is this arrows or is this WASD? WASD keys. So you can see as um, colliding with other objects. These are things that aren't actually implemented using uh, Monogame or FNA, 
Uh, so if you need this functionality for your game, this is exactly what is added. So you see here dynamic and then static there as well. Um, and then on top of that, we've got tile map support. So if you need to load in a tiled map, like from a, a tool like Tiled, uh, this is exactly the functionality to do that. So it's a lot of higher level stuff that you just don't get out of the box. I got a number of different shapes here, uh, a camera for moving around in the world or zooming in and out. Uh, again, these are not things that you get when you're working with X and A. So a lot of things you've got to roll yourself here, you don't have to. And then again, I think this one, yeah, this one causes a crash. So don't check out animation right now. It is bugged. Now on top of that, the cool thing that they've done. So in addition to implementing all of these various different systems, uh, they've actually created a number of full games and demos as well. So we've got a number of documentation samples here that show you things like how to do 2D animations, handle the camera, handle collections, collisions, and so on. We have the sandbox, which shows you how to do the ECS. And then we've got four full complete games here. For example, let's do a platformer. I will go ahead and run that. So you've got full source code here of using uh, mono game and then mono game extended to implement something like this. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, it's again, a platforming style game uh, like that, but full source code for how to actually uh, implement something like this. We also have a similar thing here. Uh, we've got Pong uh, and then the space game. We'll go ahead and check that one out and then we'll move on from there. So here we go. Uh, simple space game like this. You kind of uh, move around in the world, I th think. No, it's uh, zoom in and out. I think you're pretty static here. I'm not actually sure what the uh, controls are here, but you get an idea. This is again, all implemented using mono game. These are full source code available. So if you want to see how to create a game, uh, it's pretty simple. And you can see this one is actually using their entity system here. Uh, I think, yeah. So I believe this is using their, their normal entity system, but it implements using all of the other things that they provide. So that ladies and gentlemen is a mono game extended. Also, if you're interested, you go back over here, there is full documentation available for it. Although document, it, here, let me just zoom that in. Documentation is currently be updating for V4. There may be missing or incomplete information, uh, but otherwise it tells you all of the things that mono game extended is all about. So you got texture handling, 2D animations, fonts, input handling, camera, collections, collisions, content extensions, EC, uh, graphics, objects pool, particles, serialization, screen management, tile maps, and tweening. Those are all things that you don't get out of the box when working with um, XNA or mono game or FNA. So you'd have to roll them yourself. So this is basically just like a scaffolding on top of a very popular indie game development framework. So uh, that ladies and gentlemen is mono game extended. Uh, they just had a bit of a reorg with how um, this is actually being managed. They've moved it out from a single developer into uh, a, a framework group. So it, it's kind of got a more centralized foundation behind it going forward. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a mono game extended. If you're working with mono game or FNA, which are still both lovely C sharp frameworks, by the way, at this point in time, but you don't want to do everything from uh, scratch yourself. Mono game extended is definitely a place to check and to start out. And to do this, just start with the samples. Uh, it all uses NuGet, so it should resolve all the packages you need. Basically just clone this, open up the the solution right here and run it and you should be good to go. Good place to start. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Mono Game Extended. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.